and welcome to Andy's Cornish Creations. In this video I'm going to be turning this U log into a um, into a small bud vase. I've got it mounted between centers and uh, I'm just turning the bottom uh, to a point where I can put a, um, a tenon on there and get it mounted onto my uh, onto my chuck. So I'm just rounding the bottom down. I'm using a 3 8 inch uh, spindle gouge. And the speeds about 600. Here I'm using an old mortise chisel just to take the uh, take the wood down and create a um, a tenon to put into the uh, into the chuck. Just use the calipers to get the right diameter, and now I'm getting a half inch skew chisel just to put a. Um, dovetail onto the tenon. You can see with the English U we've got the, the outer layer of woods a nice white colour and then as you get towards the centre it turns a, a lovely warm brown And it's nice if you can manage to get a, a bit of both on a finished piece. And also I'm leaving a, a little bit of the bark on this one as well. This is filmed in, in real time because it's, uh, it's a nice quick project. And a nice simple one as well for anyone uh, who's a beginner. It's a, it's a really easy one to do. All you need is a log, a, a few chisels and, a, and perhaps a, a force and a bit to drill the hole. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell. That'd be great. I'm getting the bulk of the uh, wood removed while it's still between centres. It's nice and safe and uh, and then when I put it when I put it onto the chuck uh, I'm not putting as much pressure on it I'm not turning away a lot of material. This piece is nice and dry. I've had it uh, in the workshop for quite a while and I think it was pretty dry when I got it. Just pop in the two and a half inch chuck on, record power chuck, bring up the tail stock to keep it all nice and central and then tighten the chuck up. And I'll leave the tail stock in place as long as I can, just for that extra support. I'm squaring up the end with the old mortise chisel. And that'll now be the top. I'll probably reduce that in size a bit. Just 
just working the top down now until uh, until I've got the kind of diameter that I want at the top. And that's quite nice because it's got a bit of the darker brown with a light brown uh, with the lighter coloured wood as well. I've got a 16 millimeter forcing a bit and just drilling the hole out. Clearance on this is not very good. It didn't clear the uh, swarf very well, and it tends to get stuck in that uh, in the little groove there, which uh, which was a bit problematic. It really does it really does jam in there hard. Got a little screwdriver thing there to so just poke it out. So I'm just drilling it down deep enough to take a little test tube that I've got to uh, slip in and then if you want to put any water in uh, put a little uh, bud of some kind into you can do and that's the hole finished I've got a half inch round nose scraper there just to uh, just to shape that top a little bit take the sharpness off the, uh, the edge of the uh, hole And there, I'm just thinking about putting a, a little bead around the top edge, just as a, a little bit of a feature. But uh, since I'm working on the corner and the and the side now, I can bring the tailstock back up just for that bit of extra support, because the tenon on this is not not very big. was a little bit high there.
that's about the thickness that I want in the neck and uh, so I'm just going to take both sides down to it to that thickness and try and keep a nice smooth shape to it This is a one inch round nosed negative rake scraper. It's quite good on the internal curves just to just to smooth them out. And you can use the side of it a bit there where it's a little bit flatter. That's ready for sanding, and I sand from uh, this was sanded from 120 grit up to I think about 240 uh, before I apply some uh, sanding sealer. So this is the 240 grit paper. No it isn't. <laughs> this is the 180 grit paper. <laughs> and then I've got the sanding sealer. You see the lovely colour of the uh, of the internal wood there. It really does contrast nice with the uh, with the lighter lighter colour and then the bark. And I get some of that sanding sealer into the bark as well. It'll help to stabilise it all. I'll leave it to dry for a few minutes and then uh, I've got some uh, 240 grit paper there
and some 320 and that should finish it off that Here I've got my abrasive paste put it on while the uh, while it's not turning too quickly otherwise it tends to th throw it up in your face work it in a bit and then usually I like to turn the speed up a bit just to finish it off. There we go, it'll be going up to about 1200. And the abrasive paste, as it, as it, as you continue to use it, it, uh, it gets finer and finer. And, uh, I think it takes it up to something like a 1200 grit or something it's supposed to do, but uh, it does work well. And then just wipe off the excess paste with a, uh, with a clean paper towel. already and then they're using some wood wax 22 just to finish it off the wax has gone a bit hard <laughs> I'm really struggling to get it out of the tin Crank the speed up again, get a bit of heat in, melt the wax. That should leave a nice a nice finish to buff up. really is lovely wood
taking the tail stop away and I'm just gonna uh, uh, give the uh, give the top a little shine so I'll do the same process as I did with the rest of it Now I've turned the, the uh, vase around and uh, put the tail stock into the uh, into the neck and uh, it's just loosened off a little bit because of the cloth I think and put it between centres. A yeah, nice way to be able to take the tenon off the bottom. I didn't go all the way through, I didn't want to risk it flying off, so I stopped with a little bit of the tenon left and then just snapped it off. And that's about it. Nice simple project. And that's it. I'll hand you over to me. So there we have it, very simple log to vase, a bud vase, it's only got uh, a 16mm hole through the top and the reason for it being 16mm is that I've got one of these little test tubes that I can slip in the top, pop it down and, uh, and if I want to I can put a bit of water in there and then Add a little flower, <laughs> but, uh, but it's a lovely piece of uh, English uh, English yew. It is English. It's also Cornish yew, with uh, with a bit of bark left on it, and uh, a really simple turn. And uh, yeah, it, it could actually be a genuine twenty-minute <laughs> project. Which doesn't happen very often, despite my titles. Um, so uh, there you go. I think I think I think you could do this in 20 minutes uh, uh, without filming it. And uh, yeah, and I mean the craft sales and things. These are, these are go every day, no problem. Nice and simple. Okay, if you enjoyed it, please give me that thumbs up wherever it is, somewhere there. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, if you would please subscribe, that'd be great. The numbers uh, is getting very close to that uh, 10,000. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. But uh, and thank you to you all. Um, I'm really pleased. Um, I'm going to go back to some more simple videos, I think, um, in the near future. I've got another couple to get over, but, uh, but back, to, back to basics, I think, and perhaps another another uh, little animal will be coming up soon as well with a bit of luck um, yeah so uh, like which is that <laughs> which I've already asked for uh, share which I really asked for uh, but that's great and um, and yeah and please leave a comment I uh, I do get to answer all the comments some of them a bit late but uh, I do get around to them all and I do really enjoy getting them and I've been getting a few pictures as well so I'll have to put another uh, video up with uh, with some pictures from projects from uh, YouTube friends that have sent me some pictures of, uh, of of stuff that they've done, which is which I always enjoy getting. So uh, so yeah, there'll be one of those coming up soon as well. If only there were more hours in the day, and more days in the week, or more free days in the week, perhaps. <laughs> right. So from a, another sunny day in Cornwall. Most unusual, no pitter pattering on the roof. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. And, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.